all about my money, get my guap and turn my hood. Higher than a bitch, I'm off the oil, they don't get it up. Running up my money, I'm getting my money, I'm talking my chicken. Huh? That bitch be talking that shit, but whole time told that bitch to listen, huh? Running up this shit, but whole time ain't no competition, huh? What's cracking, y'all? What's cracking, y'all? What's cracking, y'all? What's cracking, y'all? What's fuck going on? Let's see if you want me to sit in this belt. I need to get ready to go to sleep, bro, because I got some shit to do. But I think I'm going to stay up to like three, maybe. Two forty five at the latest. You know what I'm saying? That's like another hour. That's potentially smoke one more blunt because I had a real productive day. So I just want to smoke one more. Plus, nigga, we got a real super productive day ahead of us. So I just want to get half. But today, bro, this is a reaction video. What we finna do is, you know, how the reactions go. Finna set the phone up. Uh, screen record the long way. And capture what we reacting to today. We reacting to the F um, FYB J Man acts the famous Richard. Is he a real BD? You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Being from Chicago, being from Minnesota, shit like that. You know we finna go ahead and watch that. Screen record that. What's up, yo? You business owner, and you wanna take your empire to the next level, and you wanna see. What well, forgot to do that. Oh, yeah. Hold on, cause I'm gonna get that shit right now. Hold up. Bang bang. Hit that bitch like that. Boom. Control center. Bang, 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 bang. Start recording. Yeah. We've been doing yeah, our home. Famous Rich been out here over whooping. Um, you made this on BD on King David term go over viral. If you a Chicago native, you know all the BDs be coming like that anyway. Yeah, yeah. So it hit different. It oh, do it yeah. different. Yeah. And they don't know when you a black disciple, you, you overstay that. It hit different you when you oversee it when you a black disciple, bro. Yeah. So, besides that, I, what I wanted to point out with that, bro, do you feel like you merging on BD on King David, do you feel like that put you on one lane? Because I'm going to tell you a secret, bro. Hell no. Nah, hell no. King David. Hold on, hold on. Bro, I ain't going to lie, bro. FYB, J-Man got so much sense, bro. Like, you know why I fuck with his whole over whooping shit? Because, like, I used to do the same shit technically as what they ain't like we ain't call it over whooping or none of that shit or whooping or nothing like we just call it capping you feel me motherfuckers is capping or we spamming what we mean by spamming bro is like we just we just continuous to you know what i'm saying just like speaking our mad however the fuck and don't get no fuck how nobody feel whatever and we gonna speak the truth on whatever you know what i'm saying rather motherfuckers feel like we should or we shouldn't but we not gonna incriminate and do too much you know what i'm saying but like you said, like, do you feel like this shit is like narrowing, narrowing you and keeping you like in one lane, like one sided? Richard, like, nah. Which you know what I'm saying? Potentially he right and he potentially wrong, cause it's like you don't really know, gang. Like, if you wasn't doing all the gang shit in the, in the own BD on King David and shit like that, ain't no telling where you would really be if you could be farther, if you would be as far as you is. Ain't no telling. So it's like he kind of could be right and he can kind of be wrong. But I kind of feel like you know it goes both ways. You know what I'm saying? Get back to the video. I, I'm so young. I do everything on okay. bees. Like I, I do everything for Laney, just me. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show. I'm, I ain't even gonna say too much. I got some shit. Cause, cause what I'm saying, bro. Years ago, like I say, J Man used to be coming the same way on video on King David. That was my vocabulary game. Then, what if I told you I switched on video on King David with it hit different? Do your homework. Now it's more global, gang. It yeah. hit different. It. It's a more global term, cause everybody could see it. So it hit different when I've been watching all your content. I'm like, I love it, but I feel like you gotta switch it up, cause the GDs ain't gonna be whooping like that, bro. Nah. You, you want the GDs to follow too. You want everybody to follow yeah. the famous Richard Twin trend, bro. Let's start there, cause you been over whooping, gang. And you, you, you been over whooping. Over you been doing your shit. Oh, so I feel like to over whoop, this is just my opinion on the guys, bro. This is just my opinion. I feel like, you can keep whooping like that, but understand you 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 brainwashing the kids like that too. On video, okay? like how phone them brainwash your ass. We could tell you brainwash, nah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You nah, brainwash. I ain't what you know. The BDs okay. brainwash okay. famous okay. Richard. Let's start there. Nah, I ain't even. You know, I just I come from now. I am now. You know, so okay. it's like this is me for on BD. Okay. Now look, a lot of I seen that shit in the comments. Let's address that since since I got you on on. On an episode of Whoops. Now, everybody begin that. Is Famous Richard really BD or is that his character? Because you know Charles the White, 
he got different characters. Jay Z, <coughs> he put on these different characters, and <coughs> they, we threw our whoops for the internet game. So, is Famous Richard really a BD, or is he a comedian and a BD character? Let us know. Let's start that. Famous Richard is a real BD. Let's start that. From the hundreds. Okay. 111, Airbrook, Dark Side, Down That Hill. Okay. My pops was one of the BDs in the 90s. My, look, my grandma was one of the BDs. Like, she used to be with Larry and Bonsdale. Like, it do hit different when Granny was one of the BDs. Yeah, Let's start King that. Day, like, hey, do y'all homework, oh, BD. <laughs> Let's start. So this shit in the blood. Let's start that. That's yeah, like, I, I, That's how you do it. How you, you learn to, to Let me turn, turn the BD shit bit. into, like, more comedian? Because a lot of people... Look at your shit as comedy though too. Like yeah. is that shit funny? Why do you yeah. think that shit so, why you think they find the character so abusive? Like man, yeah. every time he say that shit, motherfucker laugh. Yeah. That's that shit hit different. Nah, I ain't motherfucker gonna switch it up though. Like I ain't that you know that's But I'm asking you, is that is that put it like this? When you a real BD, a motherfucker saying on B and a motherfucker laughing you Ain't shit funny. It hit different. I'm serious. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. you on the internet over whooping with it. Yeah. So is it okay for motherfuckers to laugh when you say on video King David? Let's start that. Yeah, but not like motherfucker know when I'm serious or not, you know? Don't fuck me. Right. right. I'll get on I'll get on their ass. Motherfucker know. Speaking of getting on motherfuckers' ass, let's talk about going <coughs> to no jump. Oh, yeah. Now what I, happened? And why I know you were finna go that on King David right there, you know, video. It hit yeah, different. Yeah. Let, let me know, bro. Now you was on, you was on no jumper, and the, the security. What happened? He, did he have his pipe? What? Man, I ain't, look. They overwhooped you. That's hey, that's why I ain't real. I ain't, I, I ain't gonna lie. I was really trolling. I don't know if I wanted. I'm driving his ass. If you know, I'm driving. Okay, I'm really trolling. Just see, how, see how they coming. But I, you know, they really do it though. You know, I'm on no jump. It's an interview, man. I ain't. I'm gonna no. be there. Yeah, whooping. But I'm the security though. Know, I ain't gonna lie. I, out of, out of all of them, I get some. He the only motherfucker that I felt like they kind of like, you know, he motherfucker got up with it because he. I thought he had the pipe. Oh. Did he oh. have a pipe or he ain't had a pipe? I don't know. <laughs> I think yeah, they think uh, they said he had pipe in. They said he was a martial arts all day. <laughs> they thought he was gonna beat my ass on King Day. Oh shit! Hey, so look, the same security that you ran into, I ran into. But I had my pipe, bro. Do your homework. Yeah. You ain't never seen that video? Nah. I'm gonna show you this video, bro. I <coughs> had my pipe. <coughs> I got in with slow. my pipe with no jumper, bro. What it's the fuck, bro? Hey, and I, not, did I have my pipe? I feel you, though. I mean, they're telling you, know. That's favoritism. That's why. That's favoritism. That's why I'm like, man, nah, man. This life you nowadays know. is... You, wait, wait, wait. You, you met Lena. I ain't even get to meet Lena yet. You met Lena. It hit different. Favoritism. But put it like this. Speaking of Lena, bro, you, you over whoop. I seen your new video. Uh, let, let me plug. Uh, let, let me plug. Oh, uh, so they I'm trying to get that case. Oh, video. I'm trying to do that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying to get behind that. Put that in a blend on King David. Nah. What made you come up with the concept for this? Say, ah, and put it like this. I thought nah, you and Adam would get money together. Why would you, why would you take the part of yourself and put this man and wife on the shirt? Let's start that. I ain't even gonna lie. I really felt some type of way when he called all these people did the, the 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 plug interview? He ain't even let me know nothing. I'm like, come on, man, I want to meet your wife on King David. I seen that tape on video. Dude, ain't hit that right. If you watching this lane on King David, I'm trying to get behind that <coughs> on my homies. Yeah, Bring that over. He's he 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 funny as hell. <laughs> hey, look, I was seeing that whoop, and I'm like, man, he over whoop. But I, I think I sent you on Adam a lot of platforms once you make himself that open to that shit though. Hold on. Hold on. I, Never it's disrespect, but he like make it to where it's not I disrespectful. Look, but it's like, really nigga, look. that shit always disrespectful. See, Mike, he a store runner. I'm just see, Mike, he a store runner. Okay, Crip Mac, Crip Mac, a store runner is crazy. And then, listen, I, I thought know. he was a real Crip out there. Nah, I don't know. It, is he shit? He got on the blue. I don't know shit. He I, got on blue, bro. He got this shit tatted on his head, but it's like yeah. I ain't never seen that. Come on, gang, you overly game bang. Come on, gang. Okay, <laughs> Dave, that's some goofy shit. <laughs> So you can't over game bang. I'm just saying. If you a, over game bang, it's goofy. Fuck, I on his head though. Fuck, you ain't gotta do that. For your your mom and them grandma gotta see you all type of shit, fuck. Okay, it's different. So you can't get no no real no <coughs> Let me pause um, that. facial tattoos and, and we halfway through the video. What's your opinion on that? You feel me? As far as face tats, I kind of feel the same way he kind of saying it. I don't feel like you goofy, but I feel like his head kind of dumb, bro. Cause like. 
it's enough to incriminate and touch yourself with this shit. You know, it's enough. We all get our tats and shit. You know, that's cool. But it's like, bro, your face is the number one thing a motherfucker look at and see when they see you, bro. It's the first thing besides your shoes and your outfit that a motherfucker look at. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't your jewelry that you got on or something, but it's your face with everything tied into it. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers want to see who is the person that's paired with all this shit or whatever it is. You feel me? So it's like, him and Essie saying that shit, you know what I'm saying? I kind of feel the same way, bro. Like, why do a nigga feel like they got to put this shit all over their face and everything? You, rather you a ugly nigga, decent looking, whatever. It's like, bro, you fucking your face up. Like, we already doing enough to our skin, you know what I'm saying? Like, now you want to put this shit all over your face and just motherfucking, um, I ain't not finger bang, but motherfucking, uh, I always forget the motherfucking term, but, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, eye bust. You trying to eye bust your tattoo and your face and shit like that, so motherfuckers looking at you like, whoop the wide band, whoop the wide band and shit, you feel me? And it's like, bro, you ain't even gotta be on that type of time, gang. Like, you can be on whatever you want, you know what I'm saying? But certain niggas, certain shit for certain niggas, you know, so you let people do what they do type shit. Over whoop like that, yeah. without that shit being goofy. Yeah, yo, it got, but, everything really gotta have a meaning behind it. But you y'all. told me you come from this BD shit. He probably come from the crib shit. It hit different when you come from that. Nah, fuck. He don't come from that. <laughs> Crip Mac don't come from that. Until he don't come from that on King Dave. He had a, he had a good childhood. Good childhood. A nice Crip. upbringing. <laughs> if you have a 700 plus credit score, you qualify for Chase's new program. Yeah, so he, had a good upbringing. he did though. Now look, another thing I wanted to ask you, bro. Um, like a lot of man, I had a good upbringing, but also a rough ass upbringing at the same time. Like I was in the trenches. Oh, yeah, yeah. You be slamming the Just because, you know, your parents man, look, and shit, you know what I'm saying, don't mean you won't be outside or with your savage. people, your cousins. We been pushing the, pushing the piece right you now. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, I don't know if you realize you putting up a lot of numbers right now, bro. You 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 over whooping right now. So you got a lot of kids that's looking up to you. And when they, they going to they gonna monkey see, monkey do you. Yeah. It different. So yeah. if you drop the race, what's it different? You drop a race right now. It ain't different. This is a push and peace platform. Bro. Oh no no no! We push and peace, but it's like this is me for I ain't okay. even lie. I just like this has been me my whole life, bro. So I was like, I. It no matter how much I try to. Bring All you know how to do is draw yeah. rakes. That no, that's what you tell me. All you oh, know how to do is slam the bitch. Basically. Yeah, like I ain't, but I ain't here yeah, for like I ain't, you know. I got cousins with the CDs, you know. I got fun with but it's okay. like I'm, I'm GDK though, you know. Okay, it ain't different. <laughs> and that's not for everybody. For certain people, guys. Okay, yeah, because the GDs. I grew up with GDs. I'm from the hundreds. Okay, it's different when it's GDs and all the hundreds. Let's start that. Yeah. Can't say he invalid for that. It's a couple hoods. Because it's like that. When you got mostly it, the hood be mostly GDs and BDs, so you be having motherfuckers that be picking sides. Like, nah, I fuck with fool no more. I fuck with fool no when it comes to other hoods and shit. That yeah. shit crazy. Now look, speaking on speaking on these whoops, we seen. Well, I see you pull up at a Cabrini Greens. Let's start there. Oh, yeah, for damn. You bro. come. What, 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 who is you proving yourself to, bro? What's up with you and Shaky? Let's start there. He a comedian. Is you a what? what oh, yeah, you they got into you it. You ain't, he talking about I ain't from the rack. Okay. I can't come I say back those, to the rack. I seen those ones. Oh, King Daddy and me. I'm talking about oh, you. You, I, you get on no jump on some weird shit. That's some hate shit. Okay, let's start that. Shorty, I fuck with you. I, I really thought he was from out west. I didn't even know he was from <laughs> up north. Okay, then. It ain't different when you think shaky from out west. <laughs> yeah, because right he now. a little bop and dance and motherfucker, you know? Okay. But like, on Biddy, I ain't. Folks hopped on some hate shit. So I had to slide back on B. But that, hey, whole time, that wasn't even this block. Mmm, it ain't different. Hold on, what you. Right, because he did get back on that, like, that wasn't even the woo, where I be at type shit, right? Yeah. Okay. That's, they, they from down there, for, but that's they out, so I done went to the wrong block. But <laughs> I, I, had two, I had two switches on me on King Day, but like, okay, I'm yeah. outside on Biz. Hey, definitely got two switches. Come on, man, like, Do your homework on the Switchiana, bro. Let's start there. But look, I, you heard of Hans Huncho. Yeah, I've been doing my homework lately. I got a soul. I hit him up. I got a soul. Let's set this man shaky up. I got a soul. I got ten, a 10 piece. Yeah. On BD. Okay. Let's do this. He dunked. He blocked me on Instagram, all type of shit. Hold on. Shaky turned down 10K? That's yeah. what you telling me. Yeah, he dunked. He did it. Block 10 it. bands is turned down. Shaky 10 bands is on BD. Okay. That, 
that shit hit different right there. You did the same thing with C-Mac. Come on, home, we can get a deal. Yeah, after that. Nah, C-Mac, that's a big motherfucker. I ain't going to Baby Snap Alley, though, so they're going to have to come to the rack. I'm going to talk about that. Because I'm all homies. I'm Hello, what, what's Baby Snap Alley? That's the alley he got um uh, the DP in. I'm going to see what the DP is. I'm going to be doing that alley on King Day, but I ain't going over that, though. <laughs> Motherfuckers gonna make it out of alley, shorty. I ain't going over there, fuck. Nah, hey, definitely you don't make it out of alley. Let's start there. My <laughs> homie. Now, look, another thing I wanted to ask you. Um, As far as... Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Let, let me go back. Now, do you see yourself doing comedy in the future? Like, do, what do you classify yourself as? That's what I meant to ask you earlier. What do you really classify yourself as? Do you classify your, uh, yourself as a game member, a comedian, a content creator, or a drill rapper, bro? Let's start there. Well, I'm an entertainer, fuck. Okay, let's start there. I ain't there. even a rapper. I ain't doing none of that. On King Day, I'm a real act. Like, I'm me. On BD. I like that. I'm yes, a real sir. street nigga game, but I I'm, feel like we can see you I'm in movies. I'm an entertainer, fuck. If you know me, I've been funny my whole life, gang. Anybody know me, gang? I've been... As me, gang. Like, right now, I'm getting into the movies. All I'm, I'm, that's what I'm <coughs> transitioning to right now. And <coughs> Like all that, I'm on something different with it. Speaking on the New York uh, shit, let, let's start there. You been going over viral for over ass and every, like police officers, oh, yeah. security. Where, you, where your pipe at? Is you missed the way your pipe it's at? sweet. On King <laughs> Day, they, I'm talking about shorty. You can walk up this arm one of their ass on me. <laughs> they sweet. That's how they call back up on me. It do hit different. Now look, why yeah, is he playing cool. with these people like this, gang? Let's start there. Hey, 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 I ain't gonna lie, fool. Hey, I, I, I motherfuckers be dying and shit, be, you know, Black Lives Matter and shit, but like, they sweet, gang. They, they got motherfuckers that's 65 on the job, old as hell, pipe on his hip, whole neck. He got a whole nine on his hip on King David. I need that. Come up. Check it out. Oh, bitch. They sweet. It ain't different. This man is a nut, Now, look, you got another video, bro. Um, your Instagram been it been going crazy. Where you at down there? A honey, a honey bun right oh, now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm let, at the one twenty, the one twenty. Let's start the. He over a honey bun. It do it different. He on his way to two hundred k right now. Um, your shit been over busting, bro. Um, I seen a video on your page. What well, okay, motherfucker sleeping the top, bro? They oversleep. You got oh, your yeah, finger yeah. all in their face. Yeah. On video, King David, you, yeah. he was, what you were saying, he, you, you like it, shorty. Well, King David, what, he <laughs> sleeping the car, bro. Why is you out here low? <laughs> Motherfucker, walk up, clap your ears together, you tweaking. Oh, be Pay attention. But look, bro, what if this man, what if he had his pipe on him? What what, what you gonna do? If, if, if he up, what if he was one of them niggas with a quick reflex and upped on you, gang. I ain't gonna we lie. We need you out here to keep making this type of content, bro. We we love your content, nah, bro. Nah, for sure, but if you would have did that, I would have I, I peaked it up. I, you eat low. I, I would have dodged that, gang. I ain't gonna. I peaked <laughs> it, though. I peaked it, though. I ain't. Now, you right, though. On King Dave, you right. I just seen a video. Motherfucker just popped the motherfucker doing a prank and shit. It ain't different, bro. That Sometimes we'll take the comedy shit too far and put it like this. Von Ma, um, long live Von Ma. I don't know if you know, Mr. Put him in the coffin. I don't know if y'all ever had a chance to meet, but one of the Chicago comedians uh, he passed eight. not too long ago. Uh, yeah, Mr. White. Yeah, using my raps in different uh, ways. Yeah, yeah, using this shit as personalizing yeah, shit. Fool, he used to take shit another way too. And he ended up getting locked up behind his comedian shit. You feel me? So, certain things we do. We just gotta be mindful when we is content creators and we getting out here doing whoops, cause it's murk. So shit could go the wrong way on the guys. You know shit don't play out the way you think it's gonna play out all the time. So just be mindful, cause I do love your content, bro. And I, I know you're gonna grow the superstar um, level real, real soon. Uh, keep doing your whoops. Uh, I appreciate you for jumping on this whoop too, bro. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This it, answer, they was waiting on this. They was yeah. waiting on that. We just gonna tease them with this. We ain't gonna over yeah, whoop. This little shit on King Day, we ain't, you know. Oh, so no. We gotta give them a skit, so let them, because you got Prison Bay with you. Let's start there. You came in with Prison Bay. Now we finna do a skit. Let the people know uh, about this skit that we get, that we finna put together, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't no motherfucker. Damn, they, nah, they, they yeah. just gotta see this shit. Yeah, I don't yeah, even yeah. wanna get to I don't it. even wanna say too much. Okay. I don't even gotta see this shit on King Day. Yeah, yeah, motherfuckers finna put something together, though, bitch. Now, what's up with you in Prison Bay? How how, how y'all link, bro? Um, we ain't seen her, so it hit different, bro. Like how you find her, bro? I ain't even gonna lie. 
What's the story behind that? I hit her up. I hit her okay. up. Okay. It hit yeah. different when you hit her up. Let's start there. She, she was... You were sending letters or what? Huh? Was you sending letters? So let's start there. Was I, nah, I ain't sending no letters. I ain't sending no letters. I just seen it though. Like, she, you know, she wrong and shit. But like, I hit her up. I'm like, I want to get live, you know? Yeah. Now, that's good that she back out um, doing her thing um, in the mix. That, that's good that you got her with you. Y'all doing whoops. That's what's up, bro. That's, that's, that's real shit. I like to see the um, this. It's a, ne a new generation of shit that's going to start happening. And I feel like there's about to be a lot of people that start popping. And you one of those. And she one of those. And, and we right here in Minnesota right now. I feel like it's a good thing right now, bro. But let's, let's get right into these different whoops. Hey, hey, Until hey. next time, we do got Famous Richard on this episode. Whoops. Introducing the 2024 uh, So look, like I said, I was gonna address this whole shit with him and Shaky, right? So him and Shaky got into it, so he just addressed and said he said, I ain't know the how it started, but you know, he just gave his part. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take his word for it. Because like one the reason why I say I believe that Shaky probably did write him on some kind of like somewhat hating shit. I ain't calling Cuz no hater because I support Shaky and fuck with Cuz to the T. But it's like, I know he probably seen a nigga and it kind of bothered him because like Shaky been doing the GD shit nigga for five, maybe longer years. You know what I'm saying? For a minute, bro. Like, and... He clouded, but he's still local as hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? He uh, just above me, but way above me for sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? He get, million, he get more streams on his music and all type of shit than I do and all that type of shit. Feel me? This nigga be getting millions of views and everything shit that I'm still working on and millions of streams and all type of shit, hundreds of thousands of streams and all that, you feel me? So Shaco supported like a motherfucker. I support bro too, like I said. But like, nigga, I must have got on IG one day, right, and I randomly seen this shit. I'm like, what the fuck going on? You know what I'm saying? I just see, uh, was it IG or was it Instagram? I mean, not uh, Instagram, TikTok. It was one or the other, bro, but I get on social media. And I end up seeing the shit, you know what I'm saying? I, I see Shaky going off about it. You feel me? Like, and I think he was doing an interview. Actually, no, it was a, uh, they either was on FaceTime or something together, bro, and they was arguing. Yeah. And basically, like, Richard telling my like, girl, BDI, I beat your ass type shit, bro. Like, who the fuck is you type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, woo woo, like, woo woo. And Shaky, like, nigga, who the fuck is you talking to, boy? Like, you ain't being shit, I really do that to your ass, boy. I'll pop your ass, boy, like, type shit. And then, you know, Richard hitting him with the, like, you know, like, nigga, you the same nigga, you, ain't you the same nigga that got smacked on laugh? And ain't do shit about it, but smile and laugh and cry? Like, nigga, didn't you get smacked on live and cry, nigga? And you talking about you gonna be my ass? Like, boy, I don't really do something. You gonna be these type shit, you feel me? So then, you know, they doing that shit. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, where did this transpire from, gang? Like, how did y'all niggas end up bumping in? You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's just the, well... It is the GDK shit, you know what I'm saying? For sure, because Shaco be GD, you know? So it's like, in his eyes, he like, bro, y'all calling up a goofy. Like, I've been doing this GD shit for the longest, and I ain't never disrespected a BD, a Stone, a, a Crip, or nothing, you know what I'm saying? And none I don't, that I know of, you know what I'm saying? But at least none of the BDs and none of that shit, you know what I'm saying? He ain't none, he ain't disrespecting none because he fuck with everybody, you feel me? So he like, bro, this nigga, I've been doing this same exact type of content for years without disrespecting anybody, any other woo, you feel me? And I'm, you feel me, I'm in a decent spot, made nice money, nice moves, and did some shit, but it's like, bro, this nigga is doing shit, getting invited to shit and all type of shit that I ain't even touched or came close to yet, where I feel like I should have been already some type of something, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck, bro, something should have transpired, you feel me? So then, boom, I just watched that. He said the nigga Esty basically wrote him, basically writing him, like, on some, like, hey shit, like, nigga, who the fuck is you type shit like nigga how the fuck you get on no jumper how you this time the third like nigga like you a goofy type shit like how you how you making moves like this nigga and you out here all on, on this king day shit that's cool but you talking about some gdk gdk this making uh all this different shit you know what i'm saying this and the g's and shit you feel me but why is you able to get clouded up off this shit when 
I'm doing the same shit without doing that lame ass shit you doing. And my shit ain't go as far as your shit going. Like I feel him, but I'm not finna write another nigga on no hate shit. Like what the fuck? Why you more successful than me type shit? Pretty much like. You feel me? Rather a nigga the same shit as me, different shit, disrespecting my shit or not, bro. I'm not gonna write a nigga and be like, bro, why the fuck is your shit fucked with more than mine? You know? Cause then a nigga forever gonna be able to talk about that shit. If they got the Carfax and all that, gonna have the Carfax better provide that shit. I'm like, yeah, this nigga was on some hate shit, bro. Like, you feel me? So, boom, I'm on, I'm on, uh, IG now type shit. The nigga instantly then posted that he blocked the nigga. Bro, I I'm not gonna lie, I almost unfollowed Shaky. <laughs> that ass when he posted and showed that he blocked him and then I think he was on live and he was talking about it. Yeah, he was on live and I just so happened to turn it to live. He talking about it mad as hell. <laughs> Going the fuck in and I think he live with somebody else. But he like, bro, folks, who the fuck is folks, folks? Folks is not from Chicago, folks. He can't come back to Chicago, folks. Then he get uh I think his man's like cut out or some shit, so he just get to talking to live. Now he Folks ass is a whole fucking goofy. Folks ass ain't never even whoop you. I bam da 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 mad as hell, just going the fuck in like, dude ass a thucky type shit. You feel me? This nigga is not from Chicago, nigga. We do not claim him. We don't know dude ass this that and the third. Like, I speak for the whole Chicago type shit. Like, mad as hell. Like, nigga, you're so goofy ass song, but we don't know you. Richard, like, damn. Like, I understand you. You know what I'm saying? You probably mad about the GDK shit. But other than that, gang, like, we still could have came together and made content. I'm not, I'm dissing your shit, so I feel you, like, but I ain't dissing your shit like I'm dissing you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really know you to diss, diss this shit and the intentions of dissing you. You know, but since this your shit and I'm dissing it in general, you gonna take this shit disrespectful. Just like if you were saying the same thing about my shit and adding the K to the end of the, my shit, you know what I'm saying? I fuck, fuck around me looking at you the same way, like, ah, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You. You know what I'm saying? You gotta stay that way type shit, you know? So it's like, that's why the question when he asked him like, do you feel like this on BD shit is like keeping you in one lane damn near? Like, does it make you have to stay in one lane or this, that, and the third? And he like, nah, but it's like, yeah, because not all GDs and shit gonna fuck with this, bro. And like you said, you gonna want GDs to fuck with your shit too, gang. Like, and you can't just cause you get out here and be like, oh, I got a GD cuz and I fuck with some GDs and I ain't dissing all GDs, it don't mean nothing, you know what I'm saying? But it is some GDs, I'm not gonna lie, who be on YouTube comments and they be saying they GD and this, that, and the third. I don't know how valid they is or not, but they be literally saying they GD and this, that, and the third, and they support the nigga and salute them. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's the simple fact he making it and doing something out of the rack with the shit or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And he claiming the rack. So some niggas like the fact that he claiming the rack and doing something with him, with himself, you feel me? Others like this nigga not from Chicago. While others like shit, he can be from Chicago to me because this nigga doing something with himself. Even though it's some little goofy shit kind of tied into it, he's still doing something with himself. You know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers ain't doing shit for this motherfucker or trying to make it seem like they is, but they ain't. They just doing shit for themselves. So it's like shit. How y'all gonna hit on a nigga that at least is sitting here claiming this shit, trying to claim this shit, and actually like bring something to it? You feel me? So. He like, damn, this nigga just hating on the nigga, you feel me, for who knows what fucking reason, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, nigga, I actually fuck with your content. You kind of motivating as hell, like, you funny as hell, you know what I'm saying? Your type of shit, damn near, probably really the reason that nigga started doing that exact type of content. Like, he done tried everything, did the sugar mama shit, everything, that's what really clouded him up first, but then after that, you know what I'm saying? He needed somewhere else, like, more really him. That was him. You know, but that was like, he down, damn near was degrading the fuck out of himself, bro, because he was sitting here allowing an old ass white lady to say the hard ass ER when it comes to like, you know, nigga, nigga, but the ER instead, because I don't want, like I said, but I don't say that shit, boy. You feel me? The hard ER, motherfucking, um, she's saying all types of racist ass shit, bro, to this nigga, and he's sitting there like, what? I'm King David, you gotta say sorry. You gotta say sorry to my life. You gotta say sorry to the world. You gotta, what? You tripping, Ooh, but she constantly doing it all the time, all the time. That's the content that he is deriving and driving from her though on purpose. You know what I'm saying? So motherfuckers like, you got motherfuckers coming on there like, hello, well, you got other motherfuckers like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? Boy, yo ass tweaking. Like this old ass lady sitting here disrespectful as hell saying real super racist shit, bro, and you, 
trying to use this as content, but it ended up working after a while, you know what I'm saying? Like, my, it was so many people feeding into it because even though it was weird, dumb, and odd, it was entertaining, you feel me? The internet be needing that type of shit to look at. So it's like, they like, bro, what the fuck? My whole time laughing at that shit, enjoying it, looking forward to the nigga doing the shit. So then he like, all right, bet. He build up enough views, enough clout. The nigga just randomly go to New York. You feel me? He was up here in Minnesota. Was started off doing this content and shit up here. For real, for real. That's why motherfuckers be on his ass. Like, boy, you was not from Chicago. You was from Minnesota. Like, literally, if you go look at a lot of his pictures, bro, and shit like that, I ain't even gonna cap. You can find a lot of photos of him. And I ain't gonna lie, I guarantee you, most of them bitches is literally Minneapolis streets. They just kind of look like Chicago. But if you know, you know, like, nigga, that's not Chicago. Like, the fuck is here. You know? So it's like... Even the way he dressed, bro, it spelled Minnesota and some of his pictures, like, I ain't even trying to come at it because I'm being serious, like, you know, bro, being Minnesota, this where he from, too. But he chooses to claim the rat as a stumping ground, you know what I'm saying, for what he represented or whatever. So it's like, shit, whatever, let him do that. So he got a lot of niggas fucking with him because he claimed the rat and he doing something for it. Neither he really from it or not. Like, for instance, it's like if you move to another state, bro, and you start making music and you live there and this, that, and the third, right? And then, say you live there for like, you live there for like, say, probably like five plus years, ten, no, say you move somewhere when you younger, you know? And then, this is when you're young, because this is how niggas usually do this shit. This is why motherfuckers sound like, bro, that's from Minnesota. And I'm going to get ready to damn near end this shit so it ain't too long, because I know we already at like 25, damn near 30 minutes anyway. So, when they be like, um, like, this is another thing with, like, how you know, like, bro, that's from Minnesota, because, like, or I mean, why motherfuckers say you're from Minnesota, because, like, he from, okay, he was probably born in Chicago type shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what his birth certificate say, but my shit, like, my shit say St. Louis. But if motherfuckers was to ask me right now, where is you from? I'd be like, bro, I'm from St. Paul, Minnesota. You feel me? Like, not born, but raised. You know what I'm saying? Minnesota made, St. Louis born, Minnesota made. Simple. So motherfuckers is like, in a sense, they feel like he should do the same thing, you feel me? Hold up. So then I'm like, nigga, this motherfucker is gonna smoke. So then I'm instantly like, you know what I'm saying? Um, Certain motherfuckers are sitting there like, bro, like shaky. He like, bro, you're not from Chicago, nigga. I'm from Chicago. But then look, this what makes him mad about Richard and shit like that, right? Hold up real quick, hold up real quick. I'm trying to finish this little video real quick. So if you know what I'm saying, I'm like, boy, fucking um, shaky like, boy, you is not from him, you feel me? So like, what the fuck, like, boom, boom, boom. This nigga Richard, like, bro, how you just mad? Cause nigga, one, I'm claiming the city. I am from the, I ain't probably like super, like I ain't been there as long as you, as much as you, but I've been in and out that bitch a whole bunch. You know what I'm saying? My whole life. Same thing, like if I wanted to really claim St. Louis, I could, bro. I just stopped going there halfway through my life. Not stopped, but I still was going there type shit. I just stopped going as much, but I still was going. And with, instantly once I hit 18 is when I really stopped going type shit. I just ain't been since then, which has been like six years. I ain't gonna lie. So it's like, no, I, that's eight years. That's down to 10 years again. I ain't gonna lie. So like, and I gotta go down there. You feel me? But it's just like, it's the same sense so of motherfuckers just feel like, bro, if you somewhere else and you've been there for so long, after a while, it's like, bro, you no longer from somewhere else. But it's like, okay, this is where I'm finna. The last thought and I'm gonna damn near end it on this. I and if that's the sense, if you move somewhere when you like 20, right? And then say you stay there and you still live there when you 30. Do that mean now at after 10 years, you become like if a motherfucker like where you from, you like I'm from California. 
I'm from Dominican. I'm from Montana. I'm from Atlanta. I'm from Texas. I'm from, you know what I'm saying? Do that become that? Because some people do that. Where you from? Oh shit, I'm from Atlanta. Only because they've been living there so long. You feel me? It's like, you can now, it's like, bro, it's so many ways to go about your game. And that it's like, you shouldn't spend so much time caring about how a motherfucker go about something. If a nigga want to sit here and he from somewhere, but he was born somewhere else, and he want to claim the place he was born, so the fuck be it, bro, okay, it's cool. He don't want to put on for what made him and raised him. We understand. He didn't ask to move out of where he was, or you know what I'm saying? Like, parents do all the decisions up until you, you know? So it's like, you can't really get mad at a motherfucker if they want to sit here and claim basically the place that they basically telling you they much rather have been from or been at or been raised up in, you know what I'm saying, the whole time or whatever, you feel me? So it's like, shit, you just gotta let motherfuckers do what they do and that's that, you know what I'm saying? But that's the video, you know, Kel, I'm finna smoke this bitch. Like I said, I'm finna stay for another until 2.30, I got 15 minutes. So this motherfucker finna smoke, that's gonna be that. I got a big day ahead of myself. You already know what the fuck going on. You already know what to do. Keep them likes coming. Keep them subscribes coming. You boy gonna get over y'all. Yes,